Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about On the Sidewalk Bleeding, written by Evan Hunter. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this work by Evan Hunter is a very interesting work. There's a lot that's going on within this work. So, uh, basically, we meet a kid by the name of Andy. Um, Andy is part of a gang, um, and this gang is called the Royals. They wear purple silk jackets, and their rival gang, their enemy gang, is uh, the Guardians. Uh, and so, you know, Andy's having fun one night, and keep in mind, Andy's just 16 years old. Um, and he's having fun one night with his girlfriend, Laura, and they're out dancing. They're, they're having fun. They're having a good time. Uh, and basically, Andy goes down this, this wrong alleyway. He's, you know, he first he went to the store. This The first store was closed. He's going to go to the second store. And pretty much he gets um, in, in the crosshairs. He cross, crosses paths with one of the guardians. And, you know, the guardian stabs him underneath the rib cage. And he goes down. And he's bleeding. Um, and it's, you know, the, the, the guy says, you know, it's for you. You know, it's kind of like um, it just... Yeah, the, the knife was for Andy. The knife just comes out of nowhere and stabs him in the bottom of the rib cage and he goes down and he you know, Andy's thinking to himself, Oh man, they got me good this time. Um and Andy, you know, from the get go of the short story, we know that Andy's dying, he's bleeding out, he's not gonna survive. But Andy doesn't know that yet. And so for us as the readers, we kind of get a, a really glimpse into uh, you know, in a way like what people go through when they're slowly dying. When you know, sometimes if you got shot uh, maybe you get shot, you know, you got shot in such a way where you didn't die instantly. You have some time, you know, maybe a couple of minutes, maybe a couple of hours to live. And so this story is kind of like this, but, you know, Andy didn't get shot. He got stabbed. And so it's going to take some time for the blood to run out. It's going to take some time for his systems to shut down. It's going to take his time for his heart to stop, start, you know, stop beating. Uh, so... Andy here is just laying on the ground and lots of things are happening. He starts to think to himself, you know, he just needs somebody to help him. He needs to scream out for help. But, you know, his mouth is filling up with blood. Uh, you know, his systems are shutting down. He can't get up. He can't call for help. Uh, and, you know, he got his, his um, royal, ro you know, the, the royal jacket on, right? Um, and so what we basically witness uh, for the next couple of scenes, the next couple of segments of the short story is different people that run across um, Andy. There's a drunk man that comes by. He thinks that Andy is just drunk, just like him. He tries to offer Andy a drink, but Andy like needs help. But the guy is not taking Andy seriously. He's a drunk man with his alcohol. And so he, he you know, talks to Andy for a while. He tries to offer him alcohol. And after a while, he takes his alcohol. He just goes away, leaving Andy on the ground. Then there's a couple that that comes in, and the couple they're you know they're in the alley. They're they're you know um, you know having a good time. You know, flirting, touching, kissing, and you know they hear um, Andy you know groaning and grunting at at certain points, and they they do stumble upon him. But they don't want to get caught in the, in the gang activities, you know, the, the worlds and, and, and the guardians, you know, they're, they're killing each other left and right. This community doesn't want to get in, in the crosshairs of that. And so basically, after really trying to think about it for a while, thinking, you know, should we help them? Should we not help them? They just they run away and they leave them on the ground. You know, you know, you know they just they don't want to get involved with this. Um, there's, there's an old lady that like takes the trash out and she's down, down and, you know, down the front of the alley and, you know, nobody can really see her. Um, you know, she didn't really see Andy. She's hard of hearing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and so basically, you know, the old lady doesn't see Andy, doesn't help Andy. Nobody really helps Andy. All these people passes by, they see the jacket and, and, you know, they're like, you know, some see the jacket, some don't, but nobody really helps Andy. It's a very cold and cruel world. The, the world that Andy lives in, and he lives in New York, by the way, this is like a, a gang, you know, within this setting, it's a gang within New York, the Rose and, and the Guardians are in New York. And nobody wants to. And, and again, New York is a very tough place to live. There, there's a lot of, you know, tough people in New York. And you have to have a tough mindset to exist and to live in, to, in New York. 
Uh, and so um, th th that's pretty much what happens in New York. And so um, Andy's, you know, he's thinking to himself while he's on the ground. He's thinking that, you know, he's only 16. He's about to die. He realized at first he didn't think that he was about to die. But it slowly comes into him that, oh, man, I'm about to die. This is it. You know, I'm going to die here. Um, and, and so this comes in really slowly. He starts to think that his life is fading away. And the only joy, you know, that, that stays within his mind while he's dying is the thought of his girlfriend, his Laura, her looks, her beauty. You know, um, she he has thoughts about marrying her, thoughts about having kids, thoughts about, you know, having a better life, thoughts about matrimony and all these types of things and love and, and all these types of things and, you know, lust and kissing her and all these types of things. So... You know, in his last moments of life, he, he really thinks about his girlfriend and about how, you know, she was a joy in his life. And now how, you know, all these things, they're probably never, they're going to, they're never going to happen. We know this as the reader, that they're never going to happen because Andy is dying. We know that he's dying. Uh, it's very clear from the beginning that he is dying. And so um, all these things pop into his head. Then he realizes, you know, this, this gang that he's been, that he was proud to be a part of, to be something that, that was bigger than him. It all cost him his life, you know, the royals, the jacket, uh, the guy only stabbed him. The guy didn't know Andy. The guy didn't know who Andy was. The guy didn't know the Andy's age. The guy just stabbed him because he was wearing the jacket because he was from the rival gang. Um, and so Andy come, makes into his mind that the reason why he's losing his life is not because he's a bad guy. It's not because he's done something to anybody. It's not because the guy knew him. It's because of the jacket. It's because of the gang. It's because of the, the name that's in the back of his jacket. It's all about that. Um, and so Andy just realizes, oh, man, you know, I just lost my life because of this gang, because of this jacket. And he's like, you know, it's, the knife wasn't meant for me. You know, if, you know, when the guy said this is for you, you know, the guy was it's, it wasn't meant for me. The knife wasn't meant for me. It was meant for the jacket. And so Andy, before he dies, he and, and all the ty all types of pain, you know, Andy rips off, you know, he rolls and he, he, you know, he moans, he groans. He takes off the jacket and rolls away from it. And then he's like, he's like, I'm Andy, I'm Andy. So that's that's an identity right there. He identified as part of the Royals, uh, but um, when he realizes that you know it meant nothing, he realized that his true identity was that he was Andy. Uh, so he dies. Laura comes at the end of the short story, finds his dead body, tries to talk to Andy, but you know Andy's dead. She runs and runs until she finds a cop, and the cops, you know, the cop sees the jacket. And he's like, oh. He was one of the royals, you know, another royal. So that's how the story ends. And, and you know, the cops like, oh, there's another gang member, you know, gang members. They kill each other. They shoot each other. They stab each other. And there's a gang man, another gang member that died by the hands of another gang member. And the, the cop, you know, you know, gets a fresh sheet of paper and is like, yep, another royal. Uh, and Andy didn't want that. He didn't want when they found his body for them to just say, oh, it's another royal. You know, this 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 guy belongs to the royals. Um, he didn't want to, to his identity be to be tied with enough to the gang. He wanted to be known as Andy. You know, if, if the cop was like, oh, there's Andy. But, you know, cops don't do that. Cops will never, you know, cops don't start reports like, oh, I found Thomas. You know, I found Thomas on the street corner. It's just not... It's just not not going to happen. And so Andy dies. And, you know, in terms of deeper meaning, you know, that's how the story ends. The cop finds him, says that it's another royal. Andy's dead. The girlfriend is crying and she's, you know, devastated, um, distraught. And, um, and yeah. And so um, in terms of deeper meaning here, in terms of analysis here, um, there's a lot to take in. There's, there's a lot to say about identity. Um, you know, and Andy identified as a royal. He thought he was a royal. He wore that jacket with pride, but ultimately, that the jacket got him killed. Um, you know, the guy didn't kill him because of that he was Andy. The guy killed him because of of what of who he was associated with, um, and that cost him his life. The jacket cost him his life. So that says a lot about um, you know the identity, who you are, what you represent, and how you know that can that can cost you things and, and how, you know, being, you know, being your, who you are and as an individual can probably mean much more to you than being associated with some type of group. And, and there's, there's a lot to think about here. You think about, you know, in college, you think about sororities, you think about fraternities. Some people are really, really, really into their fraternities and their sororities to the point where, um, they're, they forget about their own individual selves and they live for the fraternity or the or the sorority. 
Um, and again, there are there are you know there are people who really really love group thinking that that really love group identities that really love following orders and 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 this this is one thing that can show you how dangerous it can be because sometimes sororities and fraternities think take things too seriously and people do get hurt or harmed or um you know bad things can happen uh, you might never hear of them but sometimes people get into groups where bad things do happen uh, so that that's something to, to, to take in mind here um and also um and sometimes you know sometimes it's just better uh, to be your individual self because that's what andy figures out at the end of the short story is that if he was himself if he was just andy he wouldn't have been dead he would have never gotten stabbed below the rib cage so that, that's a valuable lesson that he learned before he died and he learned it so much that he took off the jacket before he died so he finally accepted himself for who he is as andy you know um the jacket didn't have dreams the jacket was just you know part belonged to the gang but Andy had dreams. Andy wanted to marry Laura. Andy wanted to have kids. Andy wanted to move to a better neighborhood. Andy wanted to move out of the projects. Andy wanted to have a life. Andy wanted to be a father. I mean, Andy was was filled with life. I mean, Andy wanted this whole life. He had this whole life in his mind that he wanted to live. That was Andy's dream. That was Andy, the the father, the 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 hard worker the 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 family man the the husband that was Andy that was his identity but but the gang member the the guy who got stabbed the 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 royal the jacket that that was the gang member that wasn't Andy so that that's there's two different identities that we can look at here the, the Andy and the royal so two people here again Andy was was above his heart. His name Andy and the jacket was above his heart, but behind the jacket was the royal. So, you know, Andy, well, Andy died because of the royal, because of of his identity to the royals. So, so there's a that that's just that's just very deep, very powerful here. Um, so that, that's a lot to take in. Um, but yeah, that's how the story ends. That that you know that says a lot about. Gangs says a lot about Andy. Says about a lot of, a lot about identity, and also how cold New York is. I mean, man. I mean, well, this could apply to anywhere in the world, but the people the, that that stumbled upon Andy, if they called the cops, they could have saved his life. But because people are scared, because people are afraid, because of what gang warfare can be, they would rather let Andy die rather than help him out, um, or the world die rather than help him out. So. That's just crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, but um, yeah, that's the story. That's all I have to say about it. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.